Hello, another weekend. We're back down the shed, down the allotment. And we've got a package. Uh, see what we're in here. This was from. Oh, I need some new scissors. Um, just an offer code on Gardener's World magazine. Paid five pounds ish, five pound eighty, I think, for what should be a hundred summer bulbs, not vegetables or anything you can eat, but should help bring pollinators in and stuff like that, which should be handy. We have 40 allium, 3 lilies, 7 cocosmia, 8 gladioli and 42 oxalis. Handy guide on how to suck eggs. Uh, So it's kind of no frills packaging when you get them like this. 42 really tiny oxalis bulbs. The Allium, which I believe is those ones with the big purple bulbs. Cosmia, which is those green, they, they seem to spread like mad, like the green blade shaped leaves and then you get the little spikes with loads of orange flowers on top, quite common. And this lily appears to come in a bag of dark oriental lilies. Probably going to have to Google all that so that I know what to do. Don't plant them upside down or, you know, that kind of rubbish. We've also got these that I found in my seed box from last year. Some Jamador garlic. And some Topodrome garlic. Um, I'll try just chucking these in. They might they stink really strongly. They might be a bit rotten. But any that seem quite good, I'll just throw them in the ground. Worst that can happen is they become compost. Uh, but we might get another couple of garlic bulbs out of them. These ones feel a lot healthier. So um we'll stick those in the ground as well. And, um just gonna stick them in a random patch. I've already got our oh, look. Uh, not gonna focus. It's all rotten. <clears throat> so that's probably why they smell so bad. Maybe we'll cancel that idea. <clears throat> Maybe we'll cancel that idea. I don't want to get any funguses or anything into the soil. 
Tudu. side and see what we can get up to it now. Picked up some bits of wood um, to try and make a couple more of those planters. I guess just adding a couple every few weeks or maybe every month will eventually fill it. Uh, technically you don't need them, you just plant straight into the ground. That's what you're doing anyway, this is just an outline but um, it just makes things a bit neater. You can see what bits you need to keep weeded you can have an idea of what different types of plants are growing in each one and it just helps organise things a bit better. Um, you get less stuff out because you're, you're not just planting straight into the ground so you've got less area to work with. However, I really don't think we're going to be sh short of stuff if we can get anything growing at all. I don't think that's going to be the concern. So we'll try and make up some of these. Um, I'm probably going to use this as my saw bench. This was a table that Alex and I made last year out of some old, an old bed. Uh, just bed slats resting on a on the on the bits of the frame. But it's a handy little outside potting shed facility. But I can lift up a couple of these, and that should give me a saw bench type area. This is the only saw I could fit in my backpack, uh, which is totally not ideal for this purpose. But it works. It's got a blade on it for now. Uh, <clears throat> and the bench kind of works. I mean, there's more bits falling out than there is wood getting chopped, but hey, what can you do? So honestly a lot went wrong with that, mainly tools and materials related, well and skill obviously, but it's two new planters, based on the space available I'll need about 7,000 more and I'm not going to build them the same way that I just did those two. I need to think about another plan. This is what's left of the tool bench. As you can see that that looks grand. I'll get all this tidied up. Put the table back together. Those pumpkins that Alex was planting up. No sign of them yet obviously. And then the strawberries. Looking a bit greener, some fresh growth. So they'll be due to go in the ground soon. Like, I have to decide where in that lot to make a strawberry section, but they'll be due to go in March, which it is now. Let's see if we get any sweet, sweet berries. So, I need to look up these and find out what to do with them because this is just generic, it's not specific. So we'll look them up while this is warming up. Um, mm. Pot noodle. 
Delicioso. The space by the front. Probably put the bulbs in there. This was all covered in raspberry, old raspberry canes. There's still a line of raspberry canes over there for next year. So I've cleared out all that load of nettles, which my gloves did a good job of letting through to my skin. We've we'll cleared all that, so we'll just sort of rake off the top. Got some drills sort of marked out there where I'll put in some of those flower bulbs. And then there'll be some flowers from the front where it's always sunny. And hopefully some of the pollinators will move down into the veg. Uh oh. Tards. That's not good. 100 bulbs planted. And two raised beds made. Sun's getting low. Bit of a chill coming. So we'll call it there for the day. We'll see what the weather's like tomorrow.